to the Skeletons, this is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Versus video. So today we're doing the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh here in Disneyland versus the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh in Walt Disney World. So, without further ado, let's get into it. A storybook come to life. Get lost in the pages of A.A. A. Milne's classic tale as you glide through Pooh's most memorable adventures. Board your beehive and get swept up in a gust of wind with Piglet, Gopher, Eeyore, Kanga, and Rue. Band together with Tigger and friends to stay afloat in a torrential downpour. Celebrate sunny days and togetherness as Pooh finally gets his paws on some honey. This visual extravaganza filled with classic Disney songs is sure to delight cubs of all ages. Inspired by the Disney classic, based on the stories by A.A. A. Milne, the Disney film was released in 1977 and included songs written by Disney legends the Sherman Brothers. Winnie the Pooh, copyright Disney, based on the Winnie the Pooh works by A.A. A. Milne and E.H. Shepard. Meet Winnie the Pooh and friends. After your journey, come... Greek characters like Pooh, Eeyore, and Tigger. Please check the Disney app for specific times. Next, we'll be looking at the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh in Florida. A storybook come to life. Be swept away by a gust of wind with Gopher, Piglet, Eeyore, Kanga, and Rue before sliding inside Owl's house. Bob up and down with Tigger during a hide-and-seek adventure. Enter a dream world where singing heffalumps and woozles are spring up and down. It's a delightful ramp through scenes and songs made famous in the classic Disney film Winnie the Pooh. Before saying goodbye to your new friend, celebrate with Pooh as he finally gets his paws on what he's been searching for. Winnie the Pooh, copyright Disney, based on the Winnie the Pooh works by A.A. A. Milne and E.A. Shepard. Before your adventure, explore Rabbit's Garden, paint with honey, and visit Eeyore's home. So me personally, I've actually been on both attractions. I've been on the Winnie the Pooh attraction here at uh, Disneyland, and I've been on the Winnie the Pooh attraction at uh, Walt Disney World. Now, the Winnie the Pooh attraction here is actually very sweet. It's a short line queue. Obviously, they can't extend it, uh, but it is a short line queue. And the only difference I would say between the one here and the one in Florida is, one, they do have an interactive line queue for the kids in case they get bored and it's really hot out and they just don't have the energy to stay put. And they also have a bouncing feature at one point when you do meet Tigger. So that, I will say, is a little bit different than ours. With ours, there is no interactive line queue. You just walk straight through uh, to the honey pots. And then once you get in, once you feel the, the wind, your, car, your honey pot starts to rock back and forth until the ride ends. Which is pretty much the only kind of, I guess you would say, 4D effect for the ride. But either way, both rides are actually super cute and, you know, you can actually paint with honey. There's a little section inside the Lion Key where you can, like, remove honey to see characters. The house is super cute. There's, like, little bongo drums you can bang on. And, I mean, I, I do plan on um, releasing a video fairly soon, if I haven't released it already, that... Uh, of the, of the pictures Hubby and I took in Florida. Uh, I would ask for the ones that he took on Snapchat, but that's just going to be too many to send to me. He did take a video, however, while we were in line for the Winnie the Pooh attraction where he's banging on bongo drums, and I'm just kind of staring at him like, dude, can you not? It's hot. <laughs> We've waited in line for so long. Just, just tone it down. <laughs> Anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching. If you've been on either attraction, let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. I would love to know. Me personally, I will not pick a favorite. I love both rides equally, but I will have to say in terms of visual presentation, Walt Disney World definitely is doing it a little bit better than we are. But of course, there's nothing like a classic like going on the ride here at Disneyland. So I thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe, and I love you guys.